Hello everybody, welcome back to Mining Modern. I'm Corbin Hostler, and this is Devotion to Green. Uh, so this is a deck I've thought about playing for a while and there's a lot of different versions of it going around, um, but the one that really caught my eye because it did well in the Modern Challenge last week in the hands of, let me make sure I get this right, uh, Koyobi, Koyobimaru? That's how you butch butcher somebody's uh, uh, Magic Online name. But there you go. He drove this deck to a top eight finish in the last Modern Challenge on Magic Online. And it caught my eye because it is running one of the most fun cards in Magic. Uh, that's for sure. And that is Genesis Way. <clears throat> Three green and X. Reveal the top X cards of your library. Put any number of permanent cards into play uh, with converted mana costs X or less. So... That includes lands. In a deck like this, you can really go off because we only have three primal commands and one harmonize that are not permanents. So if you can generate a lot of mana, you can really, really get there with Genesis Wave, including up to hitting Crater of Behemoth to uh, give you all the creatures a lot of, lot of power and just get on in there. Now this deck really goes off with Arbor Elf and Utopia Sprawl. That's the big one. Utopia Sprawl, a land, and Arbor Elf can um, untap it, and all of a sudden one land makes four mana. Uh, add on to that Corsair of Crucifixes, Wistful Selkish for a lot of devotion as it you know tears through your deck. Notice we skip the two drop spot entirely here because we have so many one drop mana ramp spells. We have a full 12 of them. So we want to go one to three or one to four on turn two uh, if you have Utopia Sprawl and Arbor Elf. Um, but then you, you play Garrick's on top of a bunch of stuff, go off with Nyclos, which works great with all the green devotion, eventually just Genesis Wave for a huge amount. That's the deck, pretty straightforward, but we do have a light splash into red here so we can play Kessig Wolf Run and sideboard cards. And Kessig Wolf Run, Kessig Wolf Run is a great way to make use of your mana, especially with the Primeval Titans we have access to. And, you know, can go ahead and make your Birds of Paradise 10 power or something to finish off a game. Uh, so moving on to the sideboard. Somewhat generic, Lightning Bolt, where you really need the early removal. Um, I don't know if in fact it's still a thing. that You actually see like new black versions around occasionally, but you know, whatever. There's a lot of decks we might want a Lightning Bolt. Uh, Relic Virginitus for the Graveyard decks, Scavenge News for the Graveyard decks and mid-range matchups, and Ancient Grudge for all of your Affinity and Lantern control needs. When you can play Red and Green, Ancient Grudge is just the go-to kill spell for me when it comes to artifact destruction. Just so much value. It's resilient against hand disruption, so on and so forth. Uh, and then Crumble to Dust for the Tron matchup, so you can destroy Tron land and get rid of all the others in their hand and graveyard and library, so you can keep them off Tron. So that's the deck. Like I said, pretty straightforward this week. Nothing nothing crazy, no weird combos. There's no super fancy bells and whistles. Just a straightforward, let's be devoted to Genesis Wave, and let's put a lot of permanents into place. So uh, thank you for watching. Here we go.